guys, it's Krista from Covering the Faces and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here or if you just have forgotten who I am because I haven't posted in forever, um, I'm Krista. I am a fashion and lifestyle blogger over at Covering the Faces. Um, things that have happened to me since we last talked because I got engaged. Um, and that's actually what sparked the uh, series that you're about to see. So we're just gonna hop on into it and I'm gonna explain the series as we go along. I'm gonna start with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream just to hydrate this clean, fresh face. Um, so basically what this series is, is I am getting married and uh, I am planning on doing my own makeup for the wedding. Um, the basis behind that is mainly because I don't like it when other people do my makeup. So basically this series is going to be me testing different foundations out. Um, so I'm going to do my makeup with you guys and then we will um, check in throughout the day, see where we are at the end of the day. Um, I feel like my main problem is I definitely have like combination skin. So I have really, really dry outer skin in a very bumpy and oily T-zone. So I want to try and combat that. I'm going to go in with this Girl On Primer. Um, we're going to just prime the outside of the face with this. So the plan is to do this series, um, try on the foundation that works best for me, and then kind of go through the rest of like the makeup aspect of it and see like what bronzer works best for me, what blush, that kind of thing, and kind of start to narrow it down. And that is the uh, smoothing primer. And really, I just kind of I have a lot of bumps and like deep pores like right in here. So I kind of want to fill those in and try and get rid of them. So let's see if this can help with that. Oh wow. It actually it actually kind of does. Helps like fill that those bumps in. That's crazy. My goal I think for it, the foundation is to make it so it's like high coverage, it doesn't break up, doesn't move around during the day, but also it's like really, really light. I don't want it to feel like I'm wearing too much makeup. I don't want to feel like, ooh, don't touch me because I'll be, you know, hugging and kissing people throughout the day. So um, I like to actually combine, combine, well, I don't know why I said that so weirdly, two colors for the Wet n Wild. Um, and they are uh, Soft Beige and Nude Ivory. I'm just going to kind of paint that on to my face. And blend it in with my Morphe sponge. I like just how easily it blends. It looks good and it's like high coverage but it does not at all feel like high coverage. So here's a close-up how it looks. I think it went on really really nicely. Um, it blended out so easy. It's a great color and most importantly it feels very light. So I'm going to take the rest what's left to cover up problem areas. And I especially like this foundation because even though I put it on, um, you can definitely still see like my freckles and that is a plus. So now we're going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape. Um, this is in the color Light. I'm just going to kind of hit the main areas, which is the inner corner, the bags. I do a little under my nose on the side of it but not inside because I always crease and like really show. Out of concealers, it's definitely between the Tarte Shape Tape and the NARS Creamy Concealer. Um, I think the Tarte Shape Tape just does a better job with coverage um, and it's like just like the perfect color to conceal and brighten. So I'm going to blend out over my eye and under. And you do not need a lot of this. I know a lot of people do you a lot, but I don't think you do. It's, I mean, it's so thick and full coverage that a little does really travel a long way. Now that we have that, we are going to set the under eyes um, with my Laura Mercier. I like to use the Secret Brightening Powder um, just because it gives it a little, little bit more light, and I'm here for that. So I'm going to take my Morphe sponge um, and just dip it in, and I like to do a I don't even know if that's like the proper name for it, but stamp it on the places you want it to be and then like continue to go over it to like kind of like blend it out. So set lightly on the top of the eyes and then mainly underneath. Take whatever excess. 
melt it around. So I don't think I need a full bake. Granted, I really tried it. My skin, like I said, is like really dry in places. So I feel like that would only highlight the dryness. Um, and that is not what I need. I picked up the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette um, the other day. And I think I held it upside down. Um, and I tried this on and it is so pigmented. I was like, ooh, I didn't do this right. So I know to go in with like the lightest, lightest touch. Just like a little. So I just wanna lightly contour the hollows of my cheeks. I don't want to bring it down too far blend that all in okay so now i'm gonna go so i went in with that color i'm gonna go in with the darker color to bronze maybe the medium color i'm gonna go with this medium color to bronze and we're gonna use it cosmetics powder brush blend that all in so just hit the outsides of my face bring some color back. So the reason I haven't really been vlog or videoing much is just because I don't like like the way you're supposed to vlog. It's like I feel like there's like an expectation of how you're supposed to like look on video and like the equipment you're supposed to have and so I have just decided to like say screw that and just literally do whatever I want. So I'm in a sweatshirt, my apartment's a mess, and my hair is not clean. So that is the kind of videos you're going to get from me. I'm going to go back in very, very lightly and try and bring some life to my nose. So I'm going to take this brush, I'm going to go in with this bronzer, and I'm just going to put that in the crease, um, and then take a little bit a little bit of this darker shade on the outside and I like to use bronzer on my eyes the same bronzer I use on my face just because I think it like ties it all in really nicely so then we're gonna put on some blush and for blush I'm gonna go into this um, NARS duo so this is a duo of um, hot sand and orgasms hot sand is definitely more of like a luminous blush so you can kind of see the highlight i'm just going to kind of stamp that on and this is a good base um it's not nearly as much color as i like but it gives you like a really nice highlight while you have the blush on and so now we're going to go into orgasm which is like my favorite all time i'm going to pick up a lot of this and tap it all off and then we're going to stamp I definitely want a lot of blush on my wedding day. I think blush just does my face good. I really like it. Just on the apples of the cheek and then a little blended up. I'm going to hit the top of the nose and the top of my temples because I feel like that is where you naturally get color. For my eyes, I'm actually going to go back in. Um, take a little bit of desert sand. I'm gonna hit the inside corners. So this is just going on the lid. And then I'm gonna take some orgasm just to bring that color back in. So there are the eyes. To be honest, I have no idea what I'm doing for my eyes on my wedding day, but it'll probably be something along this line. Who knows? My eyes are like the least of my worries. Um, so I'm going to go in and do my brows. So I just did my brows off camera and I'm just going to do a quick um, setting spray with this Urban Decay Chill. Just to really help all of this powder sink in. Um, I'm going to go in with the Aqua Catrice Cosmetics Aquafresh Highlighting Eyeshadow. I'm just going to kind of put that um, everywhere we put the desert sand. So this, as you can see, is like very pigmented. It's very hydrating. The only thing I am worried about is creasing. So I don't know how to like avoid that with cream eyeshadows. If you have any tips, any examples, let me know. But I just love the way that looks on the lid. For my wedding day, I actually will be wearing um, fake eyelashes. I think I'm gonna get extensions on. So this won't be a step. I'm gonna go in with 
um, the Shivashi base mascara. Um, I really like the wand on this because it picks up a lot. And then I'm going to go in with YSL The Shock. This is actually my very favorite mascara of like all time. I've rebought it like five or six times. So I'll bring it a little bit closer. And I like this because it gives all of the coverage to my lashes. So this is how it looks done. The only thing I'm nervous about and I don't know what to do about is my lower lashes. Every time I do them, I, I end up not liking them. They look like very spidery. So I know I definitely want to use um, my Cover FX drops, but I don't know where they are, so I can't use them. Um, so instead, we're gonna go in with this Burberry highlight. It is Fresh Glow Highlighter, and it looks like this. Um, I'm gonna go in with, I don't have my highlighter brush on. I'm gonna use my fan brush. We'll try this, okay. So I'm gonna go on my Javanesque fan brush. Just hit the high points, bring that down the center. I'm gonna go in, hit the top. Also gonna go in and hit these inner corners. For my lips, I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, this is the Pillow Talk. It's like a universal great color. I will not overline them. So. This is this on, it's just a liner. Um, I'm actually gonna go in with this Burberry lip contour color. Um, and it's like a very like brown mauve color. Uh, I like it because it is like a nice neutral. I'm gonna take the Fenty Gloss Balm and it is, I swear it's gonna transform these lips. So I'm gonna put it on the lower and upper, kind of in the center. So it makes them like, very shiny i agree that this is actually a little too dark so this is maybe a shade or two darker than i want but this kind of overall look where it's kind of a natural pinky lip i am going to just to finish up use this um, it cosmetics cc your skin but better perfecting powder um and an eco tools brush and just hit um my oily parts um i'm not going to be re um powdering during the day just because I want to see how if I didn't touch it at all how it would all look like how my foundation um, and all the things I'm using would look so I'm going to powder my oily, oily parts so let's do a close-up really get in there uh, let's take a look at the face so I definitely um, like this foundation. Like I said, it doesn't really feel like I'm wearing that much foundation. You know what, I'm not actually, I don't hate this lip. It was like a little dark at first, but now I don't mind it. Um, this gloss is like the bomb. It definitely goes on very like glittery, but it's like more so like, oh, it catches the right light. It's actually just like, like luminous and wet um, versus glittery, so. I really like how this all looks right now. My eyes, eyelids aren't creasing, but the Aquafresh is breaking up just a tad. Probably because I didn't put that much on. I shouldn't have put a little bit more on. Okay, so that is it. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just check in a little bit later and um, see where we are. So here is the five o'clock check-in. I did my makeup around 11.30 today. Um, so you can definitely see like Kind of where I'm getting a little bit oily, definitely in my T-zone, like I mentioned. Um, but overall, it looks really good. We're not breaking up. We're not moving around too much. I'm losing some around my nose, and that's only because I've been like blowing my nose, whatnot, and had a little bit of runny. But still, definitely seeing like texture in here. But I think that's my skin, and I don't know how to fix it. Um, that's definitely not the makeup. But maybe next time, what I can do is. I really like how dry my under eye is looking right now as opposed to oily. Maybe I can take this powder down and really kind of bake in this larger area. I feel like that might help some. But try not to touch it today or retouch it just because I want to see um, without powder how it kind of lasts and wears throughout the day. But overall, I think really good. You can definitely, in this lighting, see the T-zone. Okay, this is the nine o'clock check-in. I'm dying to take my makeup off, so hopefully we can do this soon. Um, overall, I think it looks pretty good. It's not breaking up anywhere crazy. I'm just so oily. It's kind of coming off on my nose, but 
not bad. Overall, it looks pretty good. I definitely like it. I like the way it makes it, my skin feel. It doesn't feel like too hard. What I'm gonna do is t take a tissue and just pick up the oils really quick and show you guys how much better it could be. Isn't that like instantly better? Yeah, so now actually looking at it, more has come off around my nose, but that's just because I've been having a bit of runny nose, but I just like, so these are my pores and they are not like bumpy at all, but they're just deep. And I want to make it so that that is like not visible. I don't know if that is possible, but is there any like, it's definitely more of like a skin remedy. Is there anything, I do facials once, a month but so it clears it out I just don't know if it like it's helping okay so leave that natural highlight and that's it so that is it for the series thanks so much for watching um I will definitely see you guys in another video um recommendations for foundations to try for next time let me know down below and I'll see you guys later